guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Boss Battle by Boss Battle Games. And it is going to be a game in which you're playing a one versus many. One player will play as the dragon. And then up to three players will play as the heroes. The heroes range between three different characters, but there are multiple additional characters that will come out or are in the deluxe versions. You'll have to check out the Kickstarter to see that. But the three main characters are, do you remember them? Uh, the mage, the... Warrior. And the uh, healer. I forget what the name of the healer class. The priest. The yeah. priest, okay. So, mage, the warrior, and the priest. And you can kind of have any combination you'd like. The game plays from one to four players, so you can play by yourself against the boss, or you can play yourself versus the boss in a two player mode, or you can play cooperative as well, where you play up to three players against the boss as an AI, or of course up to four players, where you play three players, one of each hero, and then one player plays boss as on the own. scary dragon. Yeah. And the game functions pretty simply. Everybody's going to get their main base deck as well as their character they're gonna get a lane and if you're the boss you'll get all three lanes yeah you'll get all, all three, three lanes on the upper side of the board boss is powerful and based on how many players you're playing will determine how many lanes are going to be active and how many will not be active for the boss so the boss is going to be defending the lanes where there's no characters and he's going to be attacking the lanes where there are and if he gets attacks through on the lane where there's a character that character is gonna take damage yeah yep. and if they hit zero they are not out necessarily they are just weakened but a weakened character is fairly mm, useless yeah at that and point the boss have control of that lane then and not only that but the boss will level up or at least move his tracker up to level up and it's also a way the game can end earlier there's mm -hmm. a number of rounds that go through the game i think there are a total of nine and as the uh rounds continue as you start playing cards down the board and moving them up on the board because there's this like type of queue system so where players will i'll place a card he'll place a card i'll place a Go card back he'll place forth. a card up to the point where every single player has placed one and the boss has placed three then all the cards are going to activate in some way by moving up the board and if they're in a certain spot they'll trigger and then after that people will take damage or gain some type of buff or debuff and there are also a bunch of tokens in the game up, yeah, stuff, there's yeah. shields there's attack damage debuffs there's spaces that will actually have you get poisoned and whatnot and all the bosses will do different things there's actually the necromancer boss in the deluxe edition i believe and then the main game comes with the dragon so you're going to be in the main bit game box which i'll Dragons show you awesome, down so. below yeah you're gonna get the dragon three characters for there and then you're also going to get all the cards and tokens and two other boards associated with it whether it be the main board of the game which has the rounds the dragon's power and of course the player turns and the opposite side of the board which is the hp of the characters and the dragon mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and take a look down below we'll show you what comes in, comes in the game an idea of how it plays and of course if you're fully interested we have a live stream where you can check out on facebook and i'll eventually hopefully put it on facebook here as well to see the game i played as a dragon i won it was awesome boss battle it's all set up for three players, and it can play up to four players. Uh, this would be a three-player game where two players played as the classes, and one player played as boss. Yeah, big, big dragon. dragon. The big dragon is going to get a deck of one, two, and three cards. Also, his character card over there. You're going to uh, go ahead and set them aside, make sure they're all shuffled up, place all the tokens around the best possible places. The characters you'll have, set them next to their sides here. You can take them off the board if you want; it doesn't matter, just as long as you know which character goes where and in they're which lane. Lanes. Yep, they're all colored lanes, so it's pretty easy to see everybody's got health place the health markers of the characters and the dragon on the board and for the dragon because it has 50 health you'll be using this handy dandy plus marker that adds the numbers onto your base number of 20 for the tracker that way you can keep track of it without having to count too much so plus 40 hp and a 10 is equal to 50 and so when this hits zero you're going to bring it over here on the 20 and add the plus 20 which means he'll get 40 health great mechanic the objective of the game is pretty simple the dragon is attempting to get all of the characters weakened by the end of the, the round at the same time yep not not one one it has to be all of them and then the dragon if the dragon loses the heroes have to knock him down to the weakened state and that's an way. instant win yeah uh you're also gonna go ahead and give the dragon a certain amount of power based on the number of players and for a three-player game the power will get four po the dragon will get four power put Start the with. yeah put the dragon's turn marker right next to the one and the heroes can be off so the heroes are going to be at one two or three it doesn't matter because it's going to determine the number it's going to be determined based on how the heroes want to play their turns mm -hmm. and then of course there's the round marker over here which is at number one for both the dragon and the heroes so that's where they're going to start at and in normal circumstances those will move at the same time but if the dragon is able to knock down some of the characters, then he'll actually advance that faster. Yep. Each hero is also going to start with a level zero deck. And the way you determine that is the bottom of the cards is going to be a number. And in this case, it will be zero right for each of the characters. So I have number zero deck for my mage here. And then over there is going to be the zero okay. deck for the cleric. Notice that right here. Yep. And it'll tell you. Um, when you have your level zero deck for the first player, you're then going to go ahead and add... 
three cards that are level one, shuffle them up, uh, shuffle the level one deck, add three cards, and choose two and put them into your main deck. And so you'll go ahead and shuffle them up, place them into their your main deck here, and set aside the rest of the cards. The rest of the cards will be used to level up as you go throughout the game. On your card, it will tell you how many cards you start the game with. So in this case, the mage is starting with three cards, and for yours, is also going to be three as well. Then you're going to go ahead and set them next to you so you know how many player cards you get. And, of course, it can be level ones or zeros because you did add those ones, but most likely it'll be a level zero. Yeah. The dragon will do similar things. He's going to actually draw cards based on his power, and based on his level, he'll draw either ones, twos, or threes of his choosing. Once he hits level two, he can draw ones or twos, and when he hits level three, he can draw any of the three. The way that works is you look at your power, and right now he has four. That's just level one. You can only draw level one cards. They cost one each. Once he gets an upgrade, actually, he's going to get an additional three power in that pool, and those can be used to buy either two or one. Now that pool, even though you're going to have seven at that point, does not mean you get seven cards necessarily. If you want level twos, you have to spend two of that seven to get that card instead. Yep. After that, that's pretty much the entire setup of the game. You've got your cards, you've got your deck, and you've got your upgrade cards. If you're not playing with any other characters, you can go ahead and set them aside as well as any of their markers. You've got their extra health markers, their bonus damage markers, their bonus power buffs, markers, shields, and their buffs and debuffs and all that. Just set them aside, you'll be utilizing them. And the, begin the game begins. The game begins pretty simply. Everybody's going to make sure they have their max hand size, and then you're going to place cards. The dragon always goes first. So he's going to go ahead and place his marker on the turn one marker, and then he's going to choose a card from his hand of cards and place them down in these areas here based on the number. So in this case, it tells you to place it in the level zero area, so any of these areas here, and then he's going to pay the cost. And the cost, cost is either going to be to bump a card backwards by one, or the cost is going to be to discard a card from their hand. Many so. cards do not have a cost, though, but they're not going to be as powerful as cards that likely do have a cost. So in this case here, he wouldn't be able to play that zero because he'd have to bump a card back. So in, in that case, he might want to play Ember Breath, placing it right there. And depending on where he places it, that's the target he is going to be going after. So in this that case lane. with Ember Breath, he's going to be attacking this character here based on the lane. Right. If, for instance, you attack a lane that doesn't have a character in it, that is not going to do any damage to the character. But, however, the, the characters, characters can, can place there and do damage to you as the dragon. Dragon. So dragon do I still want to play you know, shields in places where you have characters and where you don't to protect yourself. When you play Ember Breath, it says you place a minus two debuff token in a two oh, slot like that on one. that hero's lane. So you literally put one of those tokens here. Yeah. Debuffs block a lane and don't let you put anything there. And at the end of every round, they're going to move up and they're going to do damage based on their number. After the dragon places, then it's the hero's turn. The heroes can select any of their characters yeah. that they have here to place on the level on the turn one marker. So in this case, if you want the blue one, blue to go first, go ahead and move that go to that. put it number one number one. Way, turn one. Go. And now I'm going to go ahead and select my cards based on what I have. Maybe I'll place a fireball out and I'll place it on one. Now I can place it on my lane or any other lane as well. I just function as like the dragons. Yeah. As long as they let me do it, I can place there. Or if it's the neutral zone. Then I check anything that it has to say. Sometimes it'll say something while it's in queue or it can be an, an action when that you can play from your hand instantly. Those things are free to place. But generally just one placement. And then you pay the cost. Mine actually is zero. So some cards don't actually cost anything. Yeah. I place my turn marker there and then it's the dragon's turn. The dragon will go again. Then the next player will go. Maybe Josh is playing this character here, so he will go. I'll place down a card. Yep. And then the dragon will get to take their third turn. After that happens, then you're going to check specials. And specials are pretty cool. On your cards, it will say if you are complete if, if you complete the spe specific requirement, like for instance having three cards in the queue or three cards in the level zero, zero category for the dragon, it, then the dragon and the other characters will perform their specials, which can be very powerful and oh, yeah. potentially devastating as well. Especially the dragon. Yep. After that is the resolution phase. So resolution is going to resolve any cards in the zero slot. Zero slot cards will either do damage or they'll be turned sideways and they will gain a defensive marker, which will be a protector of sorts no damage can pass through them so if you do six damage to a two damage shield the damage is just resolved and the shield is removed but the player takes none yep as well as of course there are uh, specific cards that will do certain things when they resolve at zero that isn't damage and isn't shields there are unique things that you'll see throughout the game that are that vary in size and nature mm -hmm. then after that there is the final stage which is going to be the countdown stage which basically pushes all cards up one slot that have not been exhausted in this combat essentially phase. Yep, as well as all debuffs will go up as well. When debuffs go from 2 to 1 or 1 to 0, they'll enact their penalty, which in this case would be blue would take 2 damage, and so you track it on this, this marker here. And then the next round would begin. You'd move that round marker up for both players and continue. When that round marker actually hits round 2 or level 2, each character is going to do the same thing they did at the beginning of the game. They will take 
three level two cards, they will choose two of them, they'll put them in their deck, and they'll shuffle their deck, leaving their discard to be the same. The dragon will do something similar with some unique styles. Yeah, the dragon at that point doesn't so much shuffle new cards in, the dragon now has access to a larger deck. You still draw from the top of the deck that you see there, one, two, or three as needed. Three is one, one the last one unlocked. But, like I said, you get more power in your draw pool, so then you choose how you want to spend that. Each of those cards costs exactly what it says on top to draw, and then you play your turn. Yep. Then you continue the game. You go from round five to six, and then basically there's one of two ways the games end. One is either the dragon player is reduced to zero, or each player is weakened, and then the other way the game ends is... All the way up if you get the game over. Yep, so if the game over happens, then the game dragon wins. ends and the dragon just simply wins. And that's pretty much the entire aspect of the game. Now, of course, there are a bunch of different cards that have a bunch of different unique abilities and whatnot, but I think all kinds of stuff. you get the idea of how the game is played. We'll go ahead and hit you up with our review now. Uh, we'll talk about what we like about the game, what we don't like about the game, and whether or not you want to pick it up down below in the description where the game Boss Battle can be found on Kickstarter. Kickstarter. So I figured this is a game you would like because you play as a dragon against everybody else. So you, when you're playing the dragon, you're basically a menacing like presence on the board. Force you just, feel yeah. the presence as 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 you're playing as the characters. You know the dragon is going to be powerful and scary, has a ton of health, can play more cards I've than you. Got a lot more defenses than the rest of you do. I've got a lot more attacks. I've got all kinds of stuff. As players, you're going to need to play very very smart. You're going to need to use your combos to the best of your ability, and you mm. need to make sure that you can outsmart the dragon by countering his placements. Now, because the dragon goes first, we get a benefit of knowing what he's doing and where he's placing, and we can use our cards to typically go against what you're doing yeah. to a certain, ex certain extent yes and there's also unique ways in which the players can combo with each other so if you're playing the warrior and the priest you're going to be healing a lot you're going to be doing slow incremental damage as well as a lot of protection that is going to be more difficult for the dragon to do damage to the first time i played this game since it's reimagining re or like after the prototypes we played this a long time ago and we yeah. had to play it most recently on tabletopia and when we're playing that one you can see the difference in gameplay whereas you're basically trying trying to prolong it up to the point where you're able to push that dragon out. Now, you can't let that you game really over happen. You really do need to com combo together, too, because honestly, if you don't, the dragon will run you over. Yes, the dragon is very powerful. It has a lot of stuff that starts filling the board pretty quickly, and you need to be, basically know what you're doing as players. So and one thing I would say, to too, too, so. is you need to be... It's usually in one versus many games. The player who's playing the one usually has to be more in tune with the game. But in this mm -hmm. one, I think players, the, the main players of the characters, need to know what they're doing. Dragon is a dragon. pretty fast pickup, yeah. yeah. So with, with the players, the, the game is rather simple. I mean, there's either zero cost to a card, bumping a card backwards, which can be a benefit or detriment, mm -hmm. and as well as discarding a card from your hand, which is always a detriment. Those are the costs to pay, play cards, and that's it. And as you play cards, you put them on the circle of the space that it tells you to play them on, and then they move up the queue. And when they hit zero, bam. So they're all they like start, countdown yeah, it's like timers. like front line then. And I'm not, I don't think, I think I've seen a game that does this where they have a countdown timer as it goes up, and then eventually things explode and do tons of damage, mm -hmm. which is super cool. There's different types of cards too. Oh, you yeah. have reaction cards, which simply you can play for free anytime, as long as it meets the requirements. Things like double cast for the mage, or absorb energy, or even arcane vision. Double cast lets you, if, if six or less cards or tokens are on the hero's queue, in, this, in these areas here, mm -hmm. uh, then you can play two cards and place one at no cost. Oh, wow. Or draw two cards and play one at no cost. So it's a free nice. card placement, and you draw more. And you want to draw more cards in Yeah, you actually beat yeah. me, or beat us, specifically, because well, you removed you my hand from the game, yeah. which had reactions to deal with you. Mm -hmm. And so it's very powerful. Uh, there are cards that will basically stay in play that just do stuff like Poison. Poison is a card for the mage, that mage will just poison the dragon as long as it's out there. Poison is increased damage. And then there's basically like Lightning, which are basically green. They resolve when they hit zero, and they'll do stuff like seven damage. And the boss has activated shields, and the... Um, will take damage as well as the boss when these guys go off. And that's really good because the boss has a lot of shields. The boss is very well protected against the various attacks that the heroes are going to throw at it. And of course, this is just one boss. You can get up to two, I think, in the Kickstarter, and there might be Different potentially strategies. even more. This game has a lot of room for growth and a lot of room for additional different types of bad guys, different mm -hmm. types of heroes, and combinations. And well, all you need replay is replay value then, because you can either play as the dragon, or if you played that a few times, and I don't know why you ever would get tired of playing as a dragon, <laughs> but you can switch and play as a hero then, play different heroes. Play but different the Necromancer is the one on the campaign that you can play as. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, the game is really, really simple. You all go through the same motions where you draw the cards, you're going to go ahead and play the cards back and 
forth until everybody's played and the dragon gets one final play. And then you're going to check any active abilities or anything that happen. Then you're going to resolve at zero and then you're going to push all the cards up and rinse and repeat. There's certain portions of the game where you do your level ups, which are really nice mm. and cool and give you different <sighs> yeah. choices in the game. So as all of the players, crazy you do feel like you're changing your character enough and the cards do pop up when hopefully you want them to. Like they do pop up uh, at, throughout the game. You're going like, to at least get them once or twice unless it's like the death throws where you're at the very end of the game. Yeah. It's very likely the game's going to end after level three. There's only one other round after that, so it's you don't have as much opportunity to... Did we uh, even make it to level three last night? I don't think we did. No. I think no. I killed you guys When like you seven play eight, as the mage and seven. the warrior, you're going to be doing a lot more damage, but you have less ability to protect your heroes. The, the Working together is in protection mode, whereas the priest is going to be a longer game, which I was yeah. talking about. The quality of the game is great. This is a prototype, but it's really, really nice. And like what the they send is, is great. This is a game I'm definitely going to keep. I really enjoyed mm. this game. It was a lot of fun. It's a game I can see other people I'm wanting to play. This, so. You're going to want yeah. to jump down and just simply go into it. You can teach players how to play this game it's a very fast quickly up. yeah we learned the rules we i i relearned the rules and taught them the rules in approximately like 25 minutes and the game plays about so, yeah, an if you hour, watch hour the live stream i learned the game as i was playing it right then in front of everybody and i did perfectly fine so yeah 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 but you don't want to get one. weakened in this game either no that yeah. is a big that i will my only time i weakened you know the heroes i did both at once so i ended the game but if i had the opportunity i think next time i might play it a little differently i was playing a lot more defensive than i thought it would at first because those of you know me, normally I play well, very aggressively. Well, it, it helped you because at the end of the game, he had a bunch of shields out. Oh, and I then he used an ability yeah. that let him destroy all of his shields and do damage based Equal on to their, shields. You know, their defense levels. And yeah, it was crushed awesome. us. It destroyed us. And that's how I, I just threw so much damage at them in so many different ways at once. And we got him down to, I think, if we would have had one more round. No, no. I, I, I was think, on, at the end I was of the last tracker. Like, like nine health. Yeah. I, think yeah, I was like last tracker. So it always feels as the player is like you're very far away from winning. But that damage you hit does because I did incredible. constantly take a lot of damage over and over again. Yeah, and a lot of that dragon comes cards down pretty quick because you have a lot of uh, shield cards and whatnot. You're doing less damage overall. You're yeah. you're more picking at us with anywhere from three damage to two damage a turn with those debuffs, and then maybe four or five. There with were a lot more attack hit. cards. The problem I ran into is that cards were on the numbered slots that I needed, or they're you know, the only open slot I had was on a lane where I can't hit the. There's heroes. a lot of combinations and so, choice to this game, yeah. and if you don't play correctly in the correct order and how you choose you to be play, mindful. it makes a big difference. A lot of strategy, beautiful artwork. I mm -hmm. think all the artwork is great. There's not oh, yeah. all the artwork is shown. Um, well, we've seen all the artwork. We haven't like. There's a couple cards that just don't have artwork yet, but they're getting there. The way. But what is here is excellent the board is really cool i really like the style of the board it feels cartoony and fun mm -hmm. and, the, and the, yeah i mean just the artwork just big dragon they did a really great cool. job with this game I, and i'm actually very proud to see what it has come from from two years ago until now you can see the amount of time and effort and energy they put in to make this game top notch worthwhile a lot of fun where everybody i've sat down and played with so far has really really enjoyed the game uh the only one little critique i have so i haven't talked a lot about critiques yet is mm -hmm. The game is challenging for the heroes, and you have to actually be mindful and be willing to understand that you're probably not going to win your first game as a hero because you have to learn those combos and the interactions. Yeah. Whereas the dragon, it's a little more simple as to understand what you need to do and how you need to place. So he instantly knew I to put a shield in the area where there was no way he could do damage to us. Yeah, at that point, it's essentially it's a weak spot for me, so I needed to you know block that as well as possible. So there is more combinations. There's more strategy involved, I would say, in, in how you combo between the characters than the dragon himself placing the cards out. He's more focused on where he places the cards and I how it's like the heroes you would have done better too if you'd shared some of your cards on each other's lanes too. We tried to. I tried to mainly use my cards to deflect your damage from her. Yeah. But sometimes I was trying to find your least, your most weakened areas to smack you through. And, and in this case, there was a lot of shields in the middle. So it yeah. was like hard to get through. And that's another thing too. If you have a shield and I'm trying to do 10 damage to you but you have a shield for four it's like ah nothing goes no through overflow. yeah it's frustrating but <laughs> understandable too because otherwise that's like an instant chunk of your health gone yeah and because we can actually survive during the weakened state which is interesting i can bring you back to life if you're playing as the warrior and the priest you can come back to life Not a thing and then dragon. we can keep going the dragon once you hit zero that's it that so a lot of challenge a lot of strategy great artwork great mm -hmm. quality production i'm very excited to see this game fun i hope you guys are interested in taking a look at it it's definitely a game for medium weight gamers yeah. and people who want a heavier style game but it does play like a medium light game so it's and once you know how to play it's a pretty fast so play too. strategy is medium to medium a little over medium and then the the understanding of the game and how to play it is on the light to medium end it's very quick and very easy to play it's like two first timers we had what uh, about an hour a little over an hour yeah so if you already knew how to play then obviously it can be less than that so 
Yeah. If you want to take a look at the game in the live stream, go ahead and do so on Facebook or maybe on YouTube if it's here currently. And if you're interested in the back of the game, like I said, down below the description for the Kickstarter boss battle. Thank you for uh, giving me this little interview here. By all means, thanks Hope for having me. Hope you guys are interested in backing it. And otherwise, let's go ahead and hit up that outro. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Boss Battle by Boss Battle Games. If you're interested in picking it up, like I said before, Kickstarter. Link Kickstarter. below. Check it, check it out. As well as take a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We got, what do we got on there? Uh, giveaways, we got promos that are coming up. You can get the links for uh, our Twitch, for our Discord. Uh, information, new blogs are on the way. Yep. Uh, by yours truly as well. New updates for the site are coming soon, maybe in about a week or so. So get ready for that, and then we'll be doing our mailing list and all kinds of great stuff. Check out our live stream every every Wednesday, six thirty PST. Yep, and you can watch it on you Facebook. See my awesome face. We play games just like this one. In fact, <laughs> we did play this game, and if you want to watch that, you can go ahead and do so. Like I said, many so times up on Facebook, now. Good to go. So you can take a look at it and see if the gameplay is right for you. And of course, you can hit us up on YouTube, where you can hit that. Com that that uh, subscribe right, button link, and like and comment and push all Push the button for the notification so you can get more reviews and Callie's Corner videos, Catherine yeah, campaign all videos, all the stuff we're doing. I hope you guys are enjoying your Gen Con. I'm doing Gen Con online for the next four days right now. I'm participating by making this video, so I miss Gen Con. Yeah, well, next year. So many games. Hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll see what we can get there. Big but regardless, time. though, we thank you for watching. I hope you guys had an interesting time learning about Bob battle and let us know what you think down below in the comment section tell us what you think as to this game would it be something you'd back if it's not why not and uh, what more videos you'd like to see us produce what type of games and any type of walkthroughs or playthroughs we're looking to make more content especially for, throughout this week too specifically because we have some extra time so yeah. do go ahead and do so we appreciate whatever you guys send us even if it's even if it's very very aggressively mean I like roast us. Be you, funny. Can, you can roast us that's fine <laughs> I don't care all right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for being in the video and helping Thank us out. Me. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. That's right. Or bottling a bass. Bass. Bottling a bass. Fishing. Bottling. Bottling. Roasting a the heroes next time. Destroying a boss. Ba God. Yes, roast the heroes. Okay.